Hello and welcome friend. Now in the same case or keeping the problem same as it was in the previous lectures. Now we are going to study the effect of increase in variable cost. Now variable cost increases due to the external forces. So first of all there will be change in the language. If variable cost increases in its own way or due to external factors by rupee 1 that is per unit. Variable cost is always taken into consideration per unit. See the first thing even if the variable cost increases or say decreases that doesn't mean we have to or we require to change our selling price. Because to determine the selling price is in our purview in our jurisdiction. In this case, only the variable cost increases by rupee 1. As the owner of the firm, we are not going to change our selling price. Okay, now let us uh, say, check the effect of increase in variable cost. First of all, the selling price will be rupee, I mean rupees 10 per unit. No change, because we are not going to change it. If we change it, it can change. Number 2, revised variable cost, it will be now rupees 6 plus 1, rupees 7 per unit and that will directly affect the contribution. It will be now selling price rupees 10 minus revised variable cost rupees 7. So now it will be rupees 3 per unit. It has decreased. This is the First effect of increase in variable cost, the contribution per unit decreases. That means the overall profitability of the firm has decreased because the firm or we have not changed our selling price according to the change in variable cost, whatever the case may be. But now the PV ratio will also change. Revised PV ratio will be now 3 divided by 10. That is 0.3 or 30 percent if we compare it with the existing situation not the other situations then it has decreased because it is 40 percent at present. Similarly the break even point let us first calculate as usual break even sales quantity the formula we are not writing formula every time in the solution of the same problem fixed cost divided by revised contribution fixed cost divided by revised contribution mind well there is change in variable cost only the fixed cost has not changed so it is rupees 30,000 so the break even sales quantity is now 10,000 units that means at present the company has reached only break even or if the company makes sales in the next period exactly equal to the sales in the existing period the company will only break even break even sales value will be also 10,000 units into rupees 10 selling price again remember no change in selling price we have not changed the selling price due to the change in variable cost so it is rupees 1 lakh. But if we compare it with the existing situation, see the break even point has increased 7500 against it, it is now 10,000, 75,000 rupees, now it is 100,000 rupees. So it has increased. Many a times the students confuse whether increasing BEP is good or bad for the firm. It is not good. Because the profit making situation has gone far from your starting point. If we take the sales activity as a journey, the landmark or milestone of break even point has gone far from the existing place of it. This is my interpretation in possibly easiest words. Now, Effect on margin of safety, quantity, existing sales 10,000, BEP 10,000, so zero margin of safety, that means zero profit, yes it is because the firm 
at 10,000 units only break even and if it makes actual sales of 10,000 units the margin of safety is zero the profit is also zero now sales to earn profit of rupees 5000 again required sales the formula is fixed cost plus profit upon contribution per unit fixed cost is 30000 plus profit 5000 divided by 3 so it comes to 11666.67 or 11,667 units. If we convert it into value, it will be rupees 1 lakh 16,670. In both terms, the margin of safe or rather the required sales has increased. Now we need more sales to earn the same desired profit and I am not going to calculate the sales or rather profit at present because now we are aware, well aware that at break even point there will be neither profit nor loss. If the break even quantity is 10,000 units and our actual sales quantity is also 10,000 units then margin of safety as well as the profit will be zero. That's it for now. Thank you very much.